Hey, what's up guys? It's Dino. I'm back on Showdown VGC 2022. This time we are actually in VGC 2022. The last couple videos you've seen last week and the week before were back when I still had COVID a couple weeks ago. Um, so now we're, we're more up to date. It's like February 12th right now. So this video will come out in like only a couple days, um, but it's still the same team. I haven't changed anything on it. I'm still just trying to work through the ladder, see what's up. I'm pretty low right now. I went on a pretty bad loss streak. Um, but I had a really, really great game against this team with some pretty standard picks. Um, I will say a lot of this one does come down to me being the GOAT and him just not really knowing what to do in the situation. But, you know, it's still valid. So don't forget, before we start this, go check out my Twitch, twitch.tv slash Dino. We've been playing Legends Arceus there, and it's been a lot of fun. And I also do some new shows like Dino Din Viewer Arenas on Wednesday nights and Deep Dive with Dino on Thursdays. So go check that out and uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel while you're at it. It, uh, it really helps me out, helps get my videos out there. So let's check out this replay here. I actually start with Grimmsnarl and Cinnaroar, but because of Misty Terrain that you're gonna see in a second here, I, I have it on slow because a lot there's some moments here where it'll it'll make sense why I have it on slow because just so much happens. But so I never remember what to do on Misty Terrain. So I don't go for any priority moves here. What I actually end up doing is I set up the yeah, I set up light screen first because Tabu Fini and Zapdos are here. Incineroar is going to Snarl because I know that both of these guys after the max airstream um, are going to be special attackers. So I'm getting them down like, what? Yeah, 0 0.67, 0 0.67. So basically because I think I can't use like priority moves or anything like that, and I also couldn't remember if I couldn't do status conditions, so I decided I'm just going to sit here and I'm just going to Snarl just over and over again and just try and get their, um, get their special attack lower. So hold on, I'm going to put it to normal speed again right now. But they, because the speed boost, I guess they wanted to keep them out here instead of resetting anything. So what I decided to do after seeing Muddy Water is I wanted to switch into Groudon and then switch right back into Cradley so that we could get the Storm Drain boost going up and get a really strong Cradley. Because right now, I mean, literally at 0.5 special attack and 0.4 special attack apiece, but they have the speed boost. So I guess that's enough for them to, to warrant not resetting. But they're doing no damage to me. I get the storm drain boost, and then I get a pretty like huge blaze kick through reflect. Um, I mean, even through reflect, I was doing that much damage. But Zapdos opts to lower my special attack on Cradley, which didn't even know you ran Eerie Impulse on Zapdos. Um, but we get rid of Zapdos there, and I set up my Leech Seed. That way, Cradley is going to be able to get some health back and stall. Uh, Tabu Fini gets that Reflect back up, but I had already Willow Wisp for Groudon. That way that his attack is just going to be even lower on our side. So now he's burned even through the, uh, the Swords Dance. So he's basically a neutral attack right now. I have double Leech Seeds up. So Cradle is getting two things of health back. Special attack was lowered, so Giga Drain won't do as much. But I have so much stall potential here with Protect and with double Leech Seed and with the low special attack on Tapu Fini. Like, this super effective attack on Grimstall here isn't doing anything. So I got lucky. Flint, well, I mean, I didn't get lucky. I faked out. Got the ground on. He didn't bother to swap out or anything like that. So he's getting chipped by Burn and Leech Seed. He swaps out to get rid of it. Um, Grimstall falls here. I did try to go to Sucker Punch on Groudon there just to get the kill, but he ended up swapping into Venusaur. Um, so Tabu Fini still hasn't swapped out yet. I'm still just sitting here leech seeding Tabu Fini and then of course goes into Groudon, gets his drought back up and resets Groudon stats, but I get so lucky here. He targeted Cradley and I get a crit blaze kick and just one tap Venusaur there. So that turn basically decided the game. He gets the reset Tabu Fini and the reset Groudon out here and Cinnawar is going to fall. Um, even through the the burn damage so cradley just goes ahead and leech seeds grout on this turn gets the health back i've still got grout on in the back and i hadn't even dynamaxed yet so i go just straight to dynamax max quake to get the boosted special defense but it, it ends up killing tabu fini which i didn't expect um and then i just giga drain here and in the game so i mean a pretty clutch performance here Oh, it Mickey hit me with the GG and I just said nothing and laughed like a Sigma. Um, but like I said, I mean, Groudon, Incineroar, like literally Groudon, Incineroar, Venusaur. I, I guess Grimmsnarl too, kind of like pretty meta picks, but the Cradley, man, the Cradley just, it sets you apart. It gets you ready for these Tapu Fini teams. You know, we've seen some Groudon, or not Groudon, we've seen some Kyogre teams try and stop the Cradley. It's just... I mean, this this team is lightning in a bottle. As soon as we get some more like 
regular <laughs> i say regular i've been seeing a lot of weird teams uh down here in the low freaking a thousands um so it's been you know it's been interesting down here but i'm trying to get back to 1200 like i was uh back in vgc 11 um and then hopefully just just get up from there because i am i'm tired of fighting these randoms cradle i know cradle is a meta breaker a meta destroyer so we'll have to see in time as i keep climbing but guys, definitely check out my VGC 2022 Wi-Fi battles that we've got up on the channel. The Toxtricity videos have been doing pretty good, so uh, go check those out if you want to see the Wi-Fi battles actually in Sword and Shield and not on Showdown. Again, we'll have another Showdown video next Monday, and we've got another VGC 2022 Wi-Fi battle coming up on Friday. And then I'm going to start trying to post some more stream highlights here on YouTube, so hopefully you guys will check those out. And don't forget, check me out, twitch.tv slash I'm live every day except Sunday, and hopefully I'll see you there. I'll talk to you guys later.